All right, so in today's video, I'll be reviewing the FiFi microphone that came in for the review. So you may or may not know, I've previously reviewed the FiFi microphones and they're pretty nice. And we'll be doing the same with this one. FiFi has kindly sent me this microphone to check this out. And whatever I say in this video is my opinion. It did come in a nice box, but Amazon decided to put on a stick on the front. Oh, hell no, man. What the but don't worry, it looks good on the back. All right, so let's start the unboxing. All right, I'm joking, there was nothing in the box. So yeah, this is the box with the Amazon sticker, and here are quick features, but I'll go over them in this video. The back of the box shows what the AM8 microphone looks like. When opening the box, there is a manual on how to use the microphone, but this won't be needed for this video. So this is the microphone stand, and it looks pretty stable. Under the foam thingy, we have the USB cable to Type-C to power the microphone, and then we have the microphone itself. At the back, it has a mute and unmute tap sensor, it can be mounted on the boom arm if you want it that way, or you can use the stand that was provided. To use the stand, just place it down on the table and rotate the microphone for it to attach. The microphone has a few cool things, such as a 3.5mm audio port, a USB-C power connectivity, and a Studio XLR connectivity. On the front, we have the microphone and the headphone volume gain. To get this microphone started, all you have to do is plug and play. To turn off the RGB, all you have to do is hold down the sensor, and to turn it back on, you do the same. Here are the RGB lights that the microphone offers. At the back of the microphone, there's a tap to mute sensor and the microphone can rotate on the stand for adjustment or storage. The microphone nicely comes with a pop filter that can be removed and you can put it back on. All right, so that was the unboxing and how to connect the microphone. Now let's sound test it. So this is the microphone test. As you can hear, I'm talking to this microphone and honestly, it sounds really nice. It gives those podcast vibes. So this is on 100% volume. If I put it down to 50, this is 50% volume. So it does decrease and you can obviously put it down and mute it. And to unmute, you just put it back up. And I previously mentioned, if you want to mute this, you just tap this. And there you go. So you can mess around with these RGB lights by pressing this button. And then you can hold it down to turn it off. Like that. So as you can hear, the microphone sounds really nice. I don't know how about you, but it gives me those podcast vibes where you can have many of these and chill out with your friends, basically talk about things and make it a podcast. And it has an XLR output, which you can take it to the next whole level. So my thoughts on this microphone are really nice. It sounds crystal clear. You have the option to connect XLR cable. It has RGB. Who doesn't like RGB in 2023? And from what you can hear, it sounds really nice. So overall, I do recommend this microphone. I'll leave the links down below in the description if you're interested in purchasing. Thank you so much for watching this video. Comment down below what video I should do next. Check out these other two videos I made and make sure to subscribe.